William Shatner, welcome to CT Style. It is fantastic to have you here on the show. Well, it's a pleasure to be with you. I have to ask you, with the uh, presidential candidates going head to head, uh, who do you think would be able to handle foreign relations best? Would it be Donald Trump, Hillary, or the Priceline negotiator? <laughs> That's funny. Obviously, the Priceline negotiator <laughs> could uh, give some lessons. The headquarters for Priceline is not far from, from the theater. I'm hoping that there'll be some executives who will come and see the show. Well, the stage show, Shatner's World, You Just Live In It, is coming to the Bush and it's happening on October 15th. Now, you started your career on stage as a Shakespearean actor. Do you like stage, film, or TV the best? Well, it's all basically the same. You learn somebody's words that they've written. You're tending to be somebody else and trying to convince the audience watching that you are that person. It's going to be a wonderful show, and, and we hear that you uh, mentioned your, your mother in the show. Was she always very supportive of you getting into showbiz? My mother? <laughs> uh, yeah, she was. Uh, uh, she, she, I think she lived a little bit through me. Uh, so I really never have done anything else but some manner uh, written, directed, or, or acted. I guess a lot of mothers do through their children. Uh, well, seven decades of, of performing. What's the, what's the secret? The future is filled with all kinds of exciting possibilities. I've got a book out there called Zero G, a wonderfully uh, fun science fiction read about the FBI in uh, 50 years from now what they'll be doing in space. And, and of course you're, you're best known, most beloved for your role as Captain Kirk in Star Trek, celebrating 50 years uh, this year. When, when you first signed aboard, did you think it would be such a big success? Well, of course not. Nobody knew that a three-year series would have such a longevity and be so popular. The fact that you and I are talking about it now, 50 years later, is a showbiz phenomenon. And, and uh, you know, in our lifetime, it'll never be repeated because it'll take 50 years or so for some show to, to say, well, we did what Star Trek did. Well, that's only logical. Right. <laughs> uh, again, all those phrases that come out of Star Trek. So much came out of Star Trek. When we were popular, the lawmakers would vote more money for space programs. And Mr. Shatner, you're going to be in Connecticut October 15th at the Bushnell uh, for your show. What can people expect? Well, it's a one-man show that I did on Broadway, perhaps a little sharper because I've uh, discovered uh, nuances that weren't there before, but it's essentially the Broadway show. I talk about uh, gorillas and motorcycles. I, <laughs> I talk about love and children. I, I talk about music and comedy. There's a lot of laughter, some tears, uh, but a great deal of entertainment. And I'm looking forward to meeting uh, members of your audience come to uh, the, the theater that evening. Absolutely. Well, they will be there. Make sure you guys grab your tickets October 15th at the Bushnell in Hartford. Log on to Bushnell.org for your tickets. And the event is all part of WRCH's 19th annual Night of Light Laughter with proceeds to benefit the fight against breast cancer through Hartford Healthcare Cancer Institute at Hartford Hospital. Well, Mr. Yes. Shatter, thank you so much for being here on CT Style. A pleasure to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.